Hello everyone. Um, what this video is going to be about is analysis of three different types of jewel thief. One is a standard jewel thief, um, just a ferrite toroid. Uh, this is a, I believe it is 26 AWG wire. Um, it has uh, 22 turns and 17 turns and um, it's using a 2N3055 and a total resistance value here of 580. Um, each uh, Jewel Thief in this video is using a 2N3055 transistor. Um, this is a Tesla pancake coil um, with the crossover and everything. It's made out of 18 AWG wire. Um, it's about a foot across. Um, again, 2N3055 transistor, and the resistance value is um, uh, uh, 500 to 1500. That's a 1K pot with 500 ohms. Um, I'm trying to match the intensity of um, the LEDs in the video. Now here is a POE Vortex coil, um, one I wrapped about a year ago. Um, it has 36 strands in it, and I have them arranged where there is, uh, what is it, 22 and 14 strands again. So um, the one that goes to the collector is 22 strands all through this and 14 goes to the base. Uh, there's a pot here and I try to run it with minimal resistance um, due to the fact it's not as bright. Uh, what we're going to do is first analyze the waveforms. So we're just going to run them, uh, look at the scope, look at what it looks like on the scope and then after that using these super caps and they are um, 2.7 volts at 100 farad. I'm charging them with this little uh, AAA battery and uh, we're going to do runtime comparisons between the standard, the pancake, and the vortex coil and see if there's anything interesting there. So, yeah, uh, let's get to the first waveform analysis. So, here we have the standard Jewel Thief. Uh, ferrite core, 480 ohms, quite bright, and on the scope here, let's get her lined up. The triggering doesn't work on this. There's the waveform. Um, relatively sharp, you know, up, down, up. Um, pretty intense, and that's pretty. That's a standard Jewel Thief waveform. Um, so nothing surprising there. Uh, let's get on to the next one. Next up we have the uh, Tesla pancake coil, um, relatively bright, let's see if I can dial her down a little, not really, it wants to stay the same. Um, here's the waveform, again it's a pretty standard looking Jewel Thief waveform, um, you know, pretty sharp, slight down, it's uh, yeah, pretty standard, um, but that's what it looks like nonetheless. Uh, it's an air core jewel thief, Tesla pancake air core jewel thief. And thanks Terry Woodruff for uh, giving me the idea to build one of these. Uh, kudos to that, but uh, all right now let's look at the vortex coil. Okay, so here we have the vortex coil. It's um, going, let me get it to its max brightness. There we go. Um, it's running standard Jewel Thief style. And let's look at the waveform. Get it dialed in here. So, as compared to the other ones, the other two, it has a very different waveform. Um, that's all this scope is good for, is evaluating waveform. But, uh, yeah, it's very different. You know, it's uh, very symmetrical and just different. There, there's no straight up. It's um, 
it's very symmetrical on both sides and I find that interesting let me get one more shot here so you know there is a difference in what's going on there as you would expect because look at it it's it's much different but it isn't behaving the same as your standard inductor coils alright so now let's do some uh, runtime analysis using a hundred farad cap charged to 1.3 volts okay so first we're gonna go with the standard jewel thief um, to time it I'm going to use this uh, stopwatch app all right, it's on, it's oscillating, starting the clock, you know, add a couple seconds. Um, yeah, I can adjust the intensity of this, uh, but anyways, it's on, it's started, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, we're at, uh, going on four minutes here. Its intensity is fading, and the scope is showing it's um, it's fading somewhat. Um, yeah, that's all. To be fair, this guy's not getting a fair shot in the competition because its overall resistance is too low. Um, if I I couldn't find my thinner gauge wire, I should. Uh, it would have been better to use thinner gauge wire to bring its resistance into the range of the other two at least anyways we're at six minutes thirty six seconds and this guy is just about to turn off um, can probably catch the oscillation stopping on the scope um, but yeah he's he's out uh, there's oscillation still happening but for all intents and purposes we'll say this guy's done so uh, we'll give him seven minutes. Okay, next up we have the Tesla Pancake Air Core Jewel Thief. Let's uh, fire up. Okay, she's on. It's not nearly as intense as the Jewel Thief started. We'll add three seconds onto the tab and we'll look at the scope here. All right, so off to the race as we go. Um, we'll show you. Well, it is kind of intense, but it, it's just not as intense as the other jewel, th the jewel thief. So, um, but yeah, here we go. So, he's off. He's got his cap. Um, I have this cap charging for the next setup, and we'll see how long this guy goes for. All right. So again, we're at uh, three minutes forty seconds. This guy's losing intensity. Um, the waveforms are changing frequency, so you can see it falling out of phase right there. Um, and it's changing to, I, I think it would be a lower frequency, I'm not 100%. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's dying relatively quick. Um, but nonetheless, the clock's still ticking. So, we shall see. Okay. Um, for all intents and purposes, this guy's out. The oscillations are still going on, but it's not enough to light the LED. So we got five minutes and let's, we got to add a few because the start. Five minutes and 55 seconds. Let's set up the vortex coil. Okie dokie. So uh, here we are. We got the vortex coil here um, set up. Let's get the, um, that ready. Okay. Hook that up there, and we're off. Okay, start, start, it started the clock. You know, here we go for brightness. Um, here we go for oscillations, and the clock is ticking. So let's see how this guy fares. Okay, so we are four minutes and thirty seconds in. Um, brightness is still good, oscillations are changing a little, but the uh, overall voltage is holding. Um, it's quite interesting actually. I'll keep you guys updated as the test goes on. Okay, so here's the intensity. We're at 7 minutes 30 seconds. Um, it's still going strong, uh, which is interesting which is 
surprisingly the results I was hoping for um, the voltage has, uh, has hardly dropped at all um, okay so I'll keep you guys updated of course uh, till, ne till the next one okay so we're at 12 minutes uh, the brightness is still pretty pretty darn good um, voltage let's see here it's gone down a tiny tiny bit um, not hard, hardly any at all though um, I will say this for all these scope shots uh, the, the positive input has been on the collector of the transistor and the negative has been on the emitter or the minus of the cap uh, that's for all the shots in this video Another thing I'd like to mention, since this is going performing so much better, um, the obvious answer is, look how much wire is in it. It's going to have a much higher resistance than this little guy here with just a little bit of wire. And this, this is substantially less wire um, in distance wise and it's 18 gauge, whereas this is 22 gauge and like there's a lot of it. So. The obvious next test to do is design a ferrite core with the same resistance values um, and also a Tesla pancake with the same resistance values and rerun the test. But for a first preliminary test, um, this is pretty cool. Uh, but I don't want to jump the gun and say there's anything too special going on other because the resistance is higher in this coil and it would make it last longer or run more efficiently. So I will uh, keep you guys updated and informed. All right, so here we are. We're 21 minutes in. Um, it's still going friggin' bright. Uh, voltage has dropped a little, um, just a tiny bit though. Uh, and we're 21 minutes in, so it's three times better than our best. Uh, as I said, said though, I have to make a ferrite core jewel thief with the same resistance values and a Tesla pancake with the same resistance values. That's a no-brainer. It has to be done for a more conclusive test. But as things stand right now, it is doing uh, quite a bit better for uh, efficiency there there's just no two ways about it um, unfortunately it's like 3 30 4 o'clock in the morning here and I gotta get up for afternoons tomorrow so I don't know how much longer I can do this test but uh, I'll try to I'll try to out, outrun the test anyways so we shall see all right guys so here's what's up we have this coil it's still bright we're 47 and a half minutes into the run looking at the oscillation voltage it it has changed a bit but it really hasn't changed much which leads me to believe this is going to go on for quite a few more hours so what I'm going to do is draw some conclusions one this vortex coil is way more efficient than this coil or the little jewel thief. I have it running on a battery for no particular reason right now. Um, way more efficient than either of these. But its resistance value is higher. Um, its waveform is different than a typical jewel thief waveform. And yeah, it's running well. Um, unfortunately, um, my job is getting in the way of my work and I have to go to bed. So the conclusions are this is worth investigating further and I'm going to by making identical uh, resistance value coils for the other two um, and yeah I'm gonna have to cut her off here <laughs> unfortunately I will post in the video when approximately it does stop um, but yeah aside from that I just want to zoom in there that's this is my CNC machine this is upcoming stuff um, it's for a conductive ink printer I'm making to make fractal phi conductive ink prints for either antennas or just to see their properties, purely experimental. 
Plus, I wanted to get into making CNC stuff. So that's off topic. I just wanted to show you guys that. So anyways, here we are at uh, 49 minutes, and we're going to call her and say the Vortex Coil is much more efficient, and it warrants further investigation. And in the video description, in the next day or two, I will um, post the res uh, the end when when it stopped oscillating. Um, also, the values, inductance, and resistance values for all these, I'm not going to bother uh, posting. Um, I was going to measure them and put them on my Google Plus, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to uh, make the, a further refined test uh, sometime in the next month or so. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll really uh, crunch the numbers on that one. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, peace, everybody. All the best, and uh, until next time. Later.